Hey Ken here, Old Man Rider. Don't let the fresh falling snow fool you. It's cold out here in northern Michigan. We're not out on the roads. We're getting ready for next year's season. Got a two-parter for you today. The question is, how do we move bikes up here? Sometimes we have to drive a long way either to a place to ride or coming home from a place to ride. And how do we use our great Dodge Caravan to move our bikes? It's a good question because we carry lots of stuff. We carry a lot of people. But let me show you an easy way to do it. We carry the bikes on the inside of the car. It's a great way to keep them safe when we're driving, no problems with weather, no problems with theft or anything like that. But how do you put a bike inside the car that's convenient, doesn't rock around and roll every place, get stuff dirty? How do you put extra people in the car? Let me show you two ways that I've done it. First one is real simple. Take a look. So this is how simple it is. We bring the bike in through the side door of the van and lead it up against the wall. In the old days, that was all I did, but the bike would move from side to side when you took a turn, or move forward to aft when you accelerated or braked. Chain oil kind of made a mess of things. It, it just wasn't good for people sitting in the van. So I added a little loop of rope down at the bottom attached to the seat belt stud, a bungee cord, and a little zip tie up on top to make a loop. Let me show you how simple it is to keep it a bit more secure and, and not moving around. There we go. It's that simple. The bike is secure from moving side to side a big amount, doesn't move forward to aft, it just kind of stays put. It's a really easy solution to a real life problem that makes putting the bike in the van super simple and that much better. Second video of the series is going to be my advanced method. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, come back and watch the next one. This is Ken from Old Man Rider. I'll see you later.